how death happens. Honoring death, not committing suicide. You know, people who commit suicide don't honor death. We must remember. The craving for living results in suicide, not honoring the death. That's a big difference. They can't bear the pain now here. They want to get rid of the pain, so their life is so important for them, not the death. So they commit suicide. Different from body. Different from everything around that is changing. He is the central to spiritual growth. So Nachiketa goes to the abode of death. He waits there for three days. Without food and water, he waits there. There is greater knowledge about it, deeper knowledge here. The whole process of death, what happens? How do you die? When, when you die, what happens to you? What happens? First, the mind withdraws from the five senses with its impression. You, st you stop feeling first, first the numbness comes, feeling, sensation disappears in the body, numbness stops. Then the sight gets blurred, your vision goes away. Sense of touch goes away, sense of taste goes away, smell goes away, and then Sight and finally the sound. Finally sound disappears. That's why when someone dies, first sensation in the body goes away. They can't feel the touch. They can't taste anything. Taste goes away. Smell goes away. And then sight goes away. Uh, uh, sight goes away in the smell and then finally sound goes. That's why you light a lamp when somebody is dying because that light, you remember you are light. The soul can see that a candle is kept light, isn't it? You light a candle and keep it in all the traditions, it's there, in ancient tradition. Somebody is dead around them, they keep a candle so that the soul, spirit, can, a little bit, if it is, if it's left the body, it can just feel the light a little bit, see the light, and remem remember, remind the self that you are light. Move on. So from five senses, the mind retrives with the impression of those senses. And then it snaps out of the body. Once it snaps out of the body, it has such a freedom. It's like coming out of a cage. And the spirit becomes so peaceful. In its peace, it also, uh, there is also all those impressions of craving. If, the, if a person is so fond of ice cream or so fond of, burger, then those things will remain there. Those impressions of burger, those impressions of ice cream, those things remain for some time there. It takes nearly three days for the spirit to really adjust to the other side. You have, you have come out of the body, you don't know how to get into the body, and but it doesn't interest also. The body is not interesting. It looks like 
like a garbage like something which has been thrown away waste you know you never take the used tissues and use it for anything else you see that suppose you have used a tissue and thrown into the garbage can will you go and pick it and take it the same sensation with the body comes to the spirit once it snaps out of the body you don't care to take it you if you want you can take one more body somewhere else so it takes almost 48 hours to 3 days maximum 3 days to get used to the other side to get relief from this side it's very 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 significant that's why the close relatives and friends people for 3 days their anguish is more but after the third day is some relief starts coming up and then 10 by 10 days time the ancient uh, system was for 10 days of mourning 10 days you cry as much as you want and 11th day you celebrate 11th day you celebrate maximum 10 days it's not that you should 10 days you should mourn no maximum 10 days after that you should times are different there is a time zone there once leave the body then the time zone changes Six months is day and six months is night. One whole year is one day. One whole year becomes one day. So three days, Nachiketa waited at the door of death. So. He, and the lord of death did not come he did not eat anything he was there and he was so pious and peaceful and calm and his uplifted spirit even death became apologetic to him then yama tells when a spiritual guest enters the house like a bright flame he must be received well with water to wash his feet someone who is not hospitable this is to glorify how one should be hospitable if you are not hospitable then you lose all your merit you lose all, you may do so many good things but if you are not hospitable if you are not kind if you are not caring for a guest you have lost all the merit so this is what lord death lord of death yama says so the lord of death as uh, gives three bone to the boy saying i owe you three bones because you have been so calm so quiet and you have meditated you have been in spiritual uh, you have been a spiritual soul you have been thinking of something higher